After the release of the 35mm f1.8, a very good budget lens, TT Artisan now released another budget lens with a beautiful square hood, the TT Artisan 56mm f1.8 AF. I am so glad that we now have more third party budget options. Not everyone wants a 500 bucks prime lens or needs one. Not everyone makes money from photography. Some people just want to enjoy it while not spending that much. And the Fujifilm X system lacks variety when it comes to lenses like this. Well, it did, and I mean under $200. It seems TT Artisan is here to fill the gap, releasing its third AF budget lens for Fujifilm cameras, and I hope they will make a 23mm to pair with this 50 and the 35. Like always, let's start with build quality. The lens is made from metal and glass. It has a metal mount, but it is not weather sealed. It has a nice black finish with small engraved markings. No branding, I like this. Makes the design of the lens stand out. The focus ring is metal, has a design that reminds me of other TT Artisan lenses, manual lenses. The ring turns smoothly and it is well damped. Just like the 35mm, the 50mm has one of the best focus rings you can find on the market. Sadly for Fujifilm users, this lens doesn't have an aperture ring, but I hope, as I previously said in my 35mm video, that they will make a pro version of these lenses with an aperture ring and weather sealing. I understand why they did not add an aperture ring to reduce cost because this lens costs only $158. It has a 52mm filter thread, a minimum focus distance of 50cm, not the best but it works and it weighs around 236 grams depending on the mount. It is in my opinion a simple and beautiful lens, yes beautiful because it has this amazing looking square hood that is made from metal, sadly you can't put it over the lens cap or the lens cap over it, you have to take off the lens cap to put on the lens hood, someone needs to make a rubber cap for these lens hoods. I know there are other 50mm budget options out there and you can get the Fujifilm F2 for a good price second hand, but some people may want a new lens with warranty and a very low price. Now let's talk about autofocus, but first, this is a review unit that I have for a while, things may improve with autofocus at launch, this lens can be updated with its back cap that is also a dock. For budget lens, the autofocus for video is quite good. The lens has an average amount of focus breathing, but as I said, the autofocus is pretty good as you can see here. The autofocus for photography is also good, not the fastest on the market, but for the price better than I expected, and it may perform better on other cameras from other brands. In autofocus continuous, the lens sometimes hunts and doesn't perform as good as it does in single. This can be fixed in a firmware update. The image quality is good in the center starting with f1.8, nice contrast and details but the corners are soft and you can see a bit of vignetting, stopping the lens down to f2.8 improves the image overall, the center gets a small boost in contrast and a bit more sharpness. The corners are still a bit soft but with better contrast and less vignetting. Stop the lens down to f4 and you will get better results in the corners, more contrast and details. The center sees a small improvement, but it looks great. At f5.6 the overall image is great, most lenses perform very well at f5.6. This is a good performance in my opinion from a budget lens on a 40 megapixel APS-C sensor. Overall a typical performance for a budget lens, great image quality in the center but not that good in the corners until f5.6 or f8. Using this lens in the real world I never noticed the soft corners and I think if you refocus this lens to the corners they are going to be sharper, so in my opinion a good performance from an $158 lens. 
What impressed me on this lens is how well it handles chromatic aberrations, better than most Fujifilm lenses. In most cases, you can't see any. The same with Loca. Great job, TT Artisan. Now let's take a look at image quality at minimum focus distance. At f1.8, the image is a bit soft. Stop down to f2.8 for a better performance. And finally, let's take a look at flares. You get some flares, but some people are going to enjoy this type of flares. Overall, another nice budget option from TT Artisan. We cannot expect miracles from lenses that cost only $158. The image quality is good starting from f1.8. No chromatic aberrations is a big plus for a budget lens. It performs even better than more expensive ones. The build quality is nice if you disregard the quirks with the hood. And yes, the lens hood is beautiful in my opinion. So, if you are looking for a budget 56mm f1.8 lens for your Fujifilm camera or a gift for one of your photographer friends, I think you should consider the TT Artisan 56mm f1.8 AF lens. If this video was helpful, subscribe, like and use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.